Okay, so we're back with part four of how to promote ClickBank products with Bing ads. And today, I'm gonna to talk to you about something called Click Click Money. So grab a pen and paper, get ready to take action, and let's do this. <laughs> What's up my friend, Ben Martin here, aka the king of email, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Profits in the Paradise. On this channel, I make videos about how to make a real income from home the right way, and how to build an email list for free using YouTube. Now be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you get updates about brand new videos to this channel. So today, I'm going to show you how to connect ClipMagic and ClipBank, which is why I called this video Click Click Money. By connecting ClipBank to ClipMagic, what we allow is data to be passed between those two different platforms, which means that when you log into ClipMagic, that's the tracking platform we should be using. Hint, grab it from my description box below. You'll be able to see sales coming in real time alongside some other important data. And this allows you to monitor exactly what's going on with your campaign in a simple, streamlined way that will put more money in your pocket. Trust me, the easier it is to see your data and exactly what's going on, the easier it is to track, optimize and scale your campaigns and make more money in the long run. Anyways, I'm going to go over to my computer right now and show you exactly how to do this important next step. Okay, so we are inside my ClickMagic account and I'm going to show you as best as I can how to connect ClipMagic with ClipBank. And I say as best as I can because there's some sensitive campaign data that I can't reveal in my videos. You know, these are campaigns I've spent a lot of money on and I've been running for quite a while. But I'm gonna break this down as best as I can, bearing that in mind, and also bearing in mind that I've already connected everything, and because I have live campaigns running, I can't disconnect it. So I'm gonna point you in the right direction, and I hope it's clear. If not, please don't worry, because ClipMagic has all their own written and video tutorials on this, and I'm gonna show you where they are, and in actual fact, we're gonna walk through them together in this video. So it might sound a little bit backwards that I'm walking you through a guide that you could refer to yourself, but sometimes people just wanna see it and hear it from somebody else out, out there who's already done it. So when you're inside of ClipMagic, what you want to do is you want to go to here and you want to click on your profile and you want to go to settings. Now under settings, you'll see account settings and you just want to go over to ClipBank and you want to click on that. And you can see it says ClipBank secret key here and there's my secret key. This secret key will only work with my ClipMagic account and my ClipBank account. It won't work with any other ClipMagic or ClipBank account out there. It's completely unique to me. But you can see that my uh, I created something already called this ClipBank secret key. And this is part of what you need to create to integrate ClipMagic and ClipBank. And once you've got your secret key, you would paste it in the box and you would click on update settings. So how do you do that then? Well, if you click on this question mark here, we actually get an exact guide from ClipMagic itself. And I'm just gonna read this guide and we're gonna go through it step by step together. And you can pause as you do this and just, um, and just do it. That's the best thing to do. So just pause this video as you go and set this up as we're doing it and if you don't have time to do that now again you now know where to find this information I'm just going to repeat it one more time you would you would click here then you would go to settings and inside of settings in fact let's just do it again I'm go to settings we go to ClipBank and then this box will be empty for you you're going to press the question mark and you can get walked through this. So let's read this together. If you want to track sales with ClipBank, you can either 
set up a postback URL which is covered in this article or use tracking pixels, integrated sales reporting, yada, yada, yada. And then it says, how do I set up integrated sales reporting in ClickBank? Let's just ignore that and just go to let's get started. And you can see in each of these sections, they have a video. But step one is this. The first thing you'll need to do to set up the instant notification service is to create a secret key in ClickBank that it uses to communicate with other tools like ClickMagic. So to do that, you can watch this, watch my video, watch their video, whatever, you know, whatever you need to do. But you're going to log into your ClickBank account, which I've already done in another window, and you're going to click the vendor setting tab near the upper right corner of the page. So let's just do that first. I'll go over to ClickBank and I'm going to go to, um, let's see, there it is. I'm going to click on vendor settings. So click on vendor settings, which brings us to this page. Then what does ClickMagic tell us to do? It says, click my site in the sub navigation menu bar. So in the sub navigation menu bar, which is this here, you're going to click on my site. I love, I love things like this. You know, sometimes people get confused by things that they feel are technical but if you just take things step by step and you break it down into its simplest form you realize that this is all easy you know I am not a technical person and I did this very easily so once you've done that let's go back to clip magic so scroll it says scroll down to the advanced tool section and click the edit link in the upper right corner. So I'm going to scroll down here to the advanced tool section. And we're going to click edit in the top right corner. And once you've done that, what's the next instruction? If the secret key is empty, you'll need to create one. Well, let's look at mine. Is mine empty? No, mine is not empty because I already created one, but yours will be empty if you've never done this before. So how do we create one? Well, simply enter any combination of uppercase letters or numbers up to 16 characters. You will get an error if you use any lowercase letters, spaces or symbols. So basically in this secret key box you can put any combination of uppercase letters and numbers up to a maximum of 16 characters but you cannot use any lowercase letters and you cannot use any special symbols or spaces so i recommend that you do your first and last name in capitals followed by your year of birth that that's what i recommend that you do so after you've done that, it says if the instant URL notif if the instant notification URL section shows a red link that says request access as shown in the screenshot above, click on that link to show a form. So I'm gonna go to clip magic and mine doesn't say that, but yours will. So you're going to want to click on it. That's what you're going to want to do. So select, and then when you click on it, you're going to see this form here. And all you want to do is for this form, as it tells you in Clip Magic, select yes for all the questions. Click on the checkbox that says you agree to the terms of service and click on save changes and request API access. So really, 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 really simple. You create your secret key and then under here where you already see I've got this stuff filled in, you're going to see this, which you'd click and then that's going to open up a drop down menu. You select yes for everything. You click the I understand and agree to the terms of use. And then you click save changes and request API access. 
Then it says, finally, scroll back down to the same section and copy your secret key. We'll be pasting that into Clip Magic in the next section. So basically, once you've, once you've clicked, I'm just going to click Save Changes, right? I'm just going to click, even though I didn't change anything. I'm going to scroll down to here and you would copy this secret key right here. You'd copy that as it says in the next um, section. So just head over to your account settings page and enter your secret key on the Clipbank tab. That's with inside of uh, Clip Magic. So like I showed you before, you would take that secret key inside of Clip Magic. You go to settings. And where it says Clip Bank, you would paste it into that box there and you would just click update settings. So let me pull the instructions back up and I apologize that I'm going back and forth. I would have much preferred to set actually set this up in real time, but I can't unplug everything. So hopefully this is making good sense to you. And you may need to watch this video a couple of times and also take advantage of the videos that Clip Magic gives you too. So I'm gonna go back down to the section we were in and um, and just it says if you're following the steps outlined here, your secret key should be on the clipboard, so yada yada yada. If you don't click on the update settings button to save the changes, the instant notification service will not work. So you've got to click on update settings. So now it says step three, add your Clip Magic instant notification URL to Clipbank. And you can watch a video on this as well inside of Clip Magic. But basically, you'll need to copy your unique Clip Magic instant notification URL and paste it into your Clipbank settings. First, copy this link exactly as you see it. So do not type in this link here you're seeing to your clip bank, to clip bank. Not, not, don't go, don't watch this video and copy this one. You're going to have your own unique link that will have your unique ID at the end. You need to copy yours. Don't write mine as it is here in this video. Copy yours as you'll see in this section you're watching on the video. Get yours. And then it says, you know, the unique URL above is used only to link your ClipBank account with ClipMagic. You don't really, this part's not really important. So anyways, go back to ClipBank to the advanced tool section where you created your secret key. And it says, you'll find it in the vendor settings tab under the my site menu. So we're going to go back here. Let, let's just imagine for a second we, you weren't in there now. So you would go to vendor settings in ClipBank and you go to my sites and you're going to scroll down to those advanced settings. So let's see advanced. Oh, I went past it. Sorry, advanced tools, right, right here, advanced tools. And, um, let me see. I got a little bit lost here. I've got so many windows open. Okay, there we go. I'm back. So it says in the first empty slot that says instant notification URL, paste in the Clip Magic instant native notification URL that you copied above. So for the advanced tools, when you're there, you'll press edit. And then this first box here that will be empty for you you're going to paste your clip magic instant url into that box right there and then it says make sure that version 7.0 or higher speed is selected in the drop down menu so if in this drop down menu anything if anything other than 7.0 is selected make sure you change it to 7.0 7.0 7.0 and then it says 
You must save your changes here before testing your setup in the next few steps. So before clicking test, you gotta save your changes. You gotta save those changes. And anytime you save the changes, what happens is it'll take you back out and then you've got to scroll back down and you've got to go into edit again. But anyways, now that you've saved your changes, you're going to scroll back down to the advanced tool section and click edit. So you would scroll back down here, you would click edit, which will bring you back in here. And it says click the test IPN link next to your URL to activate it in ClipBank system. You should see a verified next to the version number if you followed the previous steps correctly. So in other words, when you come back in here, you'll have a test IPN next to this link and you want to click test. And if you did everything correctly, it will come up as verified. And there's no reason why it shouldn't if you followed my videos because it's very, very simple. And it says, once you've tested your URL without error, you're done with the integration of your ClipMagic and ClipBank accounts. Now, for everything else that comes below in step seven, it, the, in this uh, section of ClipMagic here, you don't need to worry about this stuff yet. I'm going to explain this stuff to you in a future video. But basically, once you've done this, if I go to, um, if I go to, let's go to links inside of Clip Magic. Let me explain these columns to you, right, really quickly, because basically what you've now done is you've set up Clip Magic with Clip Bank, you've integrated it so they can talk to each other. So they can pass data from one platform to another, which is super, super important because it's going to tell you all kinds of uh, good stuff. Like, uh, and one of the most important things it's going to show you is in this column here, which you see this is blank right here, um, which doesn't matter for the purpose of this video um, because I can't show you my live campaigns. I can't give away the campaigns I'm running right now. But basically in this column here, you would be able to see any sales you'd made of the ClipBank products you were promoting. And you could also see your sales conversion rate, which basically means you'd be able to see how many people out of each 100 people visiting your offer, the, pay, the offer you're promoting, were converting into sales, which is super important. Now, while we're talking about um, Click Magic for a second, let me explain these other, some of these other columns. So TC, if you hover over each one, it will tell you, but TC equals total clicks. That's the amount of clicks that have landed on the page that you happen to be tracking in Clip Magic. So you see to this particular page, I had 238 total clicks. You see is unique clicks. And sometimes people get confused between total clicks and unique clicks. Unique clicks simply means this. Out of these 238 people, how many of these people were different people? Well, 227 people were completely unique, different people, which means some people came to this page more than once. Don't worry about funnel clicks. I'm not going to get into that. Um, we're not going to um, worry about action for now, but this number here, E, engagements, what I'm actually tracking here is visits to the order form page. That's visits to the order form page and I will elaborate on that more as we dive deeper into these videos. But I think for now, this is actually a good place to stop today because I know that you may find this a little bit technical and you may need to watch this video 
two or three times as well as watching the tutorials inside of Click Magic itself. And remember to access those tutorials, click this, go to settings, go to ClipBank, click on the question mark, and then you can watch the videos in order and just do it as you're being shown all the way up to, um, all the way up to, let's see, all the way up till you get to where it says step four, add the unique ID to your ClipBank hot links. From this, this point onwards is not relevant to you yet. So I recommend that you watch my video again, maybe two or three times. And if you have any confusion, just refer to those clip magic videos, but I will be showing you more stuff about clip magic as we move forward. This is a very, very important tool to what we're doing with our Bing ads and making money. You cannot succeed without this tool. I mean, you can use other trackers, but if you want to follow along with my videos, you're going to need to get this tool. And, you know, I was going to say something else, but it's, it's, it's gone out of my brain. Oh, the, it's come, it's come back to me. I'm a little bit tired today. S setting up clip magic and integrating it with clip bank is important. So just make sure you do it right now. It's going to take you five or 10 minutes. And once you've done it one time, it's done. So there you go. Um, that is how you do that. Appreciate you, um, watching and bearing with me today as I go back and forth. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you got a lot of value. If you did, please drop me some feedback in the comment section below or ask me any questions that you may have. And also, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell. And remember, you're just a 10 minute email away. Survive. Oh, 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 o